Okay, so hi there, Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Christy from In the Stars by Christy.com. I really do want to apologize to every Scorpio out there and to the rest of the few signs that my May monthly forecast has been really delayed this time. Uh, the reason for that is I've been really, really so busy doing a lot of readings, a lot of requests, um, because um, I've been doing a lot of things in my career recently, and I also do a lot of spiritual oil, like attraction oils and stuff like that, and um, yeah, uh, and as you all know, I'm also I also do astrology readings for a lot of people, so. Uh, May has been really busy for me, so I know that is no excuse in uploading my videos late, but hey, um, I really kind of feel that um, <laughs> I need to put my priorities right, right? So, um, and the next month, I'll, do, I'll try to manage my time wisely. I mean, we are in the middle of a retrograde as well, so... I might have been having troubles in managing my time and with the uploads of the video, but uh, it's better than late than never, right? <laughs> so um, yeah, without any um, further ado, let's just go into the reading, okay? So with the spread that I'm having right now, we are going to be focusing on what is in the middle of the the, the spread that I have right now. And that is going to give us an overall picture on what's going on with you, what is around you, and what might be something that you can expect within a month, you know, and the messages and insights with the help of our shamanic deck um, as well. So you're starting off with the Six of Swords, and this is a really of a moving forward card. So this does not mean that there has been some form of difficulty in your past. I mean, maybe, but this is really more of a situation where it, you know, you are looking ahead of things. You're not really looking back to the past. A part of you may be, you know, at the land of reminiscing and all of that, but it makes me kind of feel that whether you're looking into the past or into the future, you are at the state of um, a situation right now or in. You are not afraid to take action and you are not really at the point of hesitation, you know. I kind of feel that maybe there has been a lot of opportunities that are that are opening up themselves to you and um it's quite funny because we do have here the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands it makes you kind of feel that maybe uh this could be a scorpio man <laughs> it could be something about you it could be that you who's thinking like this or it could be that you are um having concerns with scorpio men in your life and they could be in a situation wherein they might have a standstill moment wherein who am i going to choose what is it going to going to be this girl or this girl so um of course that is not something to be happy about but if you are in a situation wherein this kind of man that you are longing for or wanting for is uh is uh, i don't know i mean i don't want to make any form of judgment but maybe they they are stuck between two girls or uh two people has their heart so this could be a situation wherein maybe you are thinking of two different persons in your life again i would say that you know I'm saying it's a Scorpio man, but it can be applicable for a Scorpio woman as well. And maybe you're thinking about two lovers, you know. So, um, you could be in a situation right now where you're thinking about two of them. And you are slowly going to a path wherein you are willing to make a choice. You're willing to make a decision to choose just one, you know. So again, you're seeing the Six of Swords is giving a signal that, hey, you're not wanting to actually go back to the past, 
But this is about you moving forward to the future. And I'm not saying that you're not going to make a decision to be back with your past lover. But this is really more of a situation wherein you are not going to make uh, an action. Or you're not going to be making a decision wherein you're going to keep two people with you. Or have two people inside of your heart. This is going to be a situation wherein you are going to be wanting to actually um, make a path for yourself and take action towards that person and create some form of new beginning or it could be a new chapter of your life and in your romance as a whole. We do have the world card as our starting card of the spread. And again, this really gives us a feeling we're in, you know, you are seeing the world in the new form of energy. Maybe something happened to you energetically, maybe, you know, and you're just seeing life in a very positive state of mind. And if you had some form of problems in the past, I kind of feel that you are now at a point of your life or in maybe you're starting to feel healed. You know, there's something that makes you feel better. And uh, I just kind of feel that you're somehow feeling some form of boost of energy. And maybe if you had a fight with someone, maybe they have already forgiven you. And because you might have some form of telephatic communication with that person, you are somehow feeling that energetically and it, it it gives you a very uplifting moment all at the same time so we have a very strong energy we have the sun and the strength card over here which gives me a feeling we're in you know there's something that's quite encouraging here something is a vibrant that feels good that has a lot of vitality into things so and that is actually pushing you to move forward with your life and again uh i'm saying that this is a love reading but it could actually be something very personal uh something that's happening to you in a very deeper and psychological level as well and regardless what that might be it's actually just letting you move forward and there's just some form of happiness in the air some feeling good and it's really a wonderful energy i'm really happy for a lot of scorpio people out there because it's about time you know it's about time and there's really something happy to look forward to now we do have the seven of wands here and again this is really more of that action of uh really making the change and really taking action and willing to to overcome something and maybe Maybe you feel as if, you know, there are things that are opposing you. Uh, things are not easy when we have the seven of wands because it makes me feel that, you know, there is a battle that you need to face and you are not going to run away. You are going to be facing this head on and you're happy to do that. You are willing to, I would say you are willing to face the trouble you know you know it might be troublesome to fight this but you are going to be willing to overcome it you know fight the adversity and do it anyway <laughs> it gives me that kind of feeling we do have the nine of swords here and maybe there is a reason why you're willing to fight for this i kind of feel that for a lot of scorpio people out there maybe your emotions is going to be at the top of things uh maybe your feelings is going to be showing you the way you know there are things that they are going to be showing you maybe you dream of something or you just cannot help but think about that person you know this is a, a card of worry and disappointment and i kind of feel that whatever it is whatever some form of darker situation you had in the past maybe it has a lot to do with a relationship before you are now willing to face this you are now willing to to actually battle your your own skeletons i would say so maybe there was someone that you're trying to run away from in the past right now you are willing to to face this person and maybe confront this person or this could be a situation wherein um whatever it is that has been so hard and difficult for you in the past you're willing to to find some form of conclusion and find answer into that situation so you're now having that energy that you feel that maybe it is time and you're now ready to face forward with this uh, situation it's time to actually face it now we have here the seven of swords as well so 
I kind of feel that this, you know, at one point you feel that should I do this? Should I do that? You know, there's a lot of hesitations here and there and back and forth energy that you might be um, having. And um, for some of you, I kind of feel that this could be a form of temptation as well. Or should I even still <laughs> try to resolve this? Can't I just, you know, run away for good? You know, all of those kinds of things can be coming into play. This can also be a form of sneakiness into the air, you know. And uh, maybe the way that you come up with a, the with a person's life is in a way we're in it surprises them you know there's always an element of surprise it gives me the feeling overall though that you know this is going to be element we're in your emotions your energy your power is really going to be uh, something that vibrates o o overall you know um, you're not going to be handling things decisions your life in a very logical way you are going to have your i would say your animal instincts or your true feelings is going to be the one that leads the way for you to you know so basically it's just like you following your heart following what your soul is really telling you following what your heart is craving for so, and I kind of feel that it is, it is something that you will never regret at the end of the day. So our messages here is saying that honoring your own energy. And this is exactly what I'm saying, you know, this is about you not really um, trying to control things. This is about you um, being true to yourself and really being more honest with what you truly feel, what you truly want and what you re really think about the situation, what you think about this relationship, whether it's something that you have at your present moment, maybe someone from the past, or, uh, maybe it's about you moving forward to the future. I mean, only you would know, but I kind of feel that you're now willing to cross the distance. You're now willing to cross that bridge. You're now willing to step things forward to the things that you have been so afraid before. Now we also have your sacred space. Um, it's all good. And like I said, this is a very wonderful reading and giving us a lot of positivity in the air. We also have your teaching, abundance and um new beginnings of some kind so it's really giving us you know a green light signal i know we have a mercury retrograde and a lot of people will be concerned about that but um at the end of the day you know astrological alignments is astrological alignments and at the end of the day you should not let astrology rule what you truly feel because sometimes they are like just some form of weather forecast and uh, your actions um, and your feelings will ev eventually lead you to a path where it is meant to. So, for example, if this is someone from the past, if you're really meant to be with that person again, this could be, you know, the perfect time, you know. It could be some form of faith or this could be just you wanting to have some form of conclusion and resolution to be with that person again regardless what it is that you're going through right now i kind of feel that the fact that you're now having this energy to move forward um there are situations that are happening in the scenes that um aligns them perfectly to your situation so i kind of feel that this could be an element we're in um everything is happening at the right timing so this could be the perfect time to do what it is that you are supposed to do so um yeah this is about you following your heart and you know i kind of feel that there could be some form of huge progress to be made with this energy as well so um a lot of opportunities and i kind of feel that this is going to be you wanting to achieve something to accomplish a goal and you will just go ahead and do it regardless on what is the logical thing to do what is the right thing to do you're not going to bother with that you're just going to be acting upon what you true feel what your true feelings are because 
if it feels right, it has to be right, <laughs> right? So um, yeah, that's my reading for you guys, Scorpio. I'm really happy for this because I really feel that it's something that you truly need. You know, um, things have been quite low in the past few months and probably a year now, and I kind of feel that this is giving you some form of needed push. To set things on the right track in terms of your personal life and love life all at the same time. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that this news is not yet too late for a lot of Scorpio peoples out there. So thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. Uh, please do know that if you do want a more personal reading to specifically take a look into your own situation. I'm quite booked right now but you can always still book a reading with me. Um... Or email me at my website, uh, in the stores by Chrissy dot com. Uh, I do have my services right there. Or email readings and instant readings all at the same time. If that's your thing, uh, we can take a look at your own personal situation and see where things are going to be heading for you in terms of your love life, relationships, and things that you might want to take a look on. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and joining in with me. I'll see you guys again on my next video on June. <laughs> thank you and I'll see you guys next time.